Kirk, where have you been? Everywhere. I've been everywhere. And should I tell the people? Hooray! All right, you guys. I, hi. <laughs> so I am, I've been out of the game for a while when it comes to competition. It's been great because I've been recovering my body and my mind. And I'm still working on a lot of really great stuff business-wise. That's actually where I've been mostly this past year. My online trading program is doing amazing things. Our community is growing so big. A lot of great changes for things like Enswear, Athea Skin. We launched Protein with FNX, my supplement sponsor. I have a podcast. I've had a podcast for a year now. Can you believe that? One episode a week for a year. Yeah, I pooped a little <laughs> in my pants. Not on purpose. Oh, I went and filmed Ultimate Tag, which is a fitness game show. It's gonna be with Fox. It's gonna be somewhere around the Super Bowl because the Watt brothers who are hosting it are all pretty good football players. Welcome to the Naked Program. I really do care about having a life for myself beyond you know the years that I have available to be a CrossFit Games athlete or a, a professional you know exerciser. For those of you that don't know or you're new to my channel or maybe you just never knew that part of my life, um, CrossFit athlete, went to CrossFit Games in 2015, filmed Wonder Woman, the Justice League in 2016. And then 2017, I actually had to have a spinal fusion, my cervical spine. I have a, a fused discs, C6, C7, plate, four screws. So that was like a huge recovery time. Trained to come back to hopefully make it to regionals 2018. I did qualify for regionals. And after regionals, I had a lot of shoulder problems, a lot of shoulder pain, labrum tears, things like that. So I took another year off. I realized it was much more important for me to get to a place health-wise physically that I could sleep without pain and I could do things without pain. So I took more time off. I've just been recovering. And then just one day I was actually driving my friend Katie to the airport. No reason for this thought to even be in my head. Like, no reason. It wasn't the music that was playing. I just dropped her off that night, was driving home, and immediately I had this thought of like, you should compete. You should do it. And so I immediately texted my coach and I said, okay, let's do it. And uh, yeah, I've taken enough time off. It's time to come back. Again. <laughs> All right, vacation is over for now, but I am back at Fitness Culture before I leave town doing some higher up sum uh, box squats and sumo deadlifts. And then I'm probably gonna do some butt stuff. It's a little bit of an adjustment. I've gotten very used to my, my schedule, training to just be healthy and fit, jumping in classes, doing random stuff, trying new things, and I can still do those things, but only if I get all my other stuff done first. So now my schedule is working back into a competition training schedule. You know, it's more demanding. It's a very specific days of training during the week. There is no missing training days. There is no, oh, it's okay, I'll take a rest day, I'll do it tomorrow. You gotta get it done. T-spine rotations, I didn't see. I think I remember how to do this. I can't just jump right back into a very typical schedule for someone who's trained for competition because my body will not be able to hold up. I seem about 50 feet. And I've been reminded many times so far that I'm 30. Everyone's like, Brooke, you're 30. No wonder you're sore. You're not gonna recover as fast or at the same, you know, at the oh. same way you Ooh. used to. Oh. I am <laughs> feeling that, but instead of it being because I'm 30, I think it's just because it takes time to be able to handle so much volume and so much training. It's getting stronger without actually making things worse. You don't want to be so sore that I can't keep working. I don't want to be so sore that I can't go to the gym and do my programming the next day. Yeah, a lot of lifting, trying to build my booty up so my, my leggings stay up better. That's the truth. Too bad my hamstrings are massive. Oh! Yeah, pretty big. 
Oh my god. This angle, you look like you have a giant body and a tiny head. <laughs> I'm super pumped to get back. I'm really excited to get strong. It's gonna be a really painful road. <laughs>positive spin I was able to put on my recovery for my spinal fusion was basically the idea that I get to experience firsts, like a first time doing something or experience gains, um, getting better at certain skills that usually, I mean, you only get to do that one time. I've really been laying off like anything shoulder intense. Now I can put my body weight on the rope, so it's good. It's a good sign. Some of them feel really good. My left side feels good all the time. My left shoulder is the one that would want to like pop out a lot, like subplex or dislocate. So that right side, letting my arm come out that far away from my midline, a little, a little sketchy. You have your first muscle up one time. You have your first handstand push up one time. You have, you know, all these things, but going through recovery or going through injury or now taking a good amount of time off to just recover my mind and my body and now coming back, I get to do it again. I'm a professional underdog. <laughs>
I don't even know how to describe it to you. It's like if someone took your stomach, your low stomach, and just squoze it out. Squoze? <laughs> like a wet rag. Squoze is a word. No, it's not. Squeezed? Squoze? Squeezed? Squeeze. What's, but what's past tense of squeeze? Squeeze. Definitely not squoze. <laughs> you 